Hello and welcome if we're live yet, I cannot tell. But uh, we should be live right now and uh, we're sorry about the delay. Um, and we're going to have this uh, Global Games broadcast shortly. I'm just making sure that we are live, in fact, on YouTube uh, and Twitch while we wait for this. Uh, and I really appreciate uh, y'all who are watching because uh, I know we have one person watching right now and I really appreciate that person. Um, I really appreciate that person. Uh, we have uh, this broadcast is live. And we are going to, uh, I'm just going to check the uh, viewership on this right now. Uh, what's going on right now with the live stream? Uh, I really do appreciate uh, the person who is watching right now. I would love to hear a chat message. Um, okay, hold on one second. I am just trying to pull up this Twitch page, and then we will get started with our broadcast in a few minutes. But first of all, um, uh, I can't see how many people are watching here. Um, all right, well, first of all, I do need to get some more setup done, though, um, which means we'll be back soon so
Hey, Mom. I'm on a stream right now. I'm, oh, I'm sorry. But I'm not, I, I, I shouldn't be. Wait, why is it record? I thought I'd turn. All right, we are pretty much ready to go. Just a couple of things that I need to do, and we'll be ready in about five or so minutes.
Hey, Chris and Michael, thank you for messaging me in the chat. Um, I appreciate you letting me know that I was still, uh, the microphone was still on. We are about, we are going to start the stream, so let's kick it off with the following video. student. I go to Bish, and it's my first time at Global Games. Hi, my name is Huxley. I'm really enjoying it here. I'm from CBS in Costa Rica, and I'm in eighth grade. Get into the sports and just compete. I'm playing soccer and basketball, and I play both of those uh, at my school. Um, so I'm playing volleyball and football, which I play at home and at school. And I'm also trying out flag football. Um, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. It's really fun to meet a lot of the other people from other schools and hear where they're from. I met a lot of people from Peru and different states in America. I met a student from Boston who we just played against in the soccer match. I'm really enjoying it so far. I've actually talked to a lot of people from different states and I've got their social media. It's amazing. I'm getting to know a few uh, students from other schools and it's really cool. Yeah, I'm really happy to represent my school and I think it's amazing that we have the chance to come out here and win. That was our intro video. Not sure what's playing in the background.
Hey, apologies for the technical difficulties, everyone. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, we're going to have everything back up and running in a second. Uh, I really do apologize for that once again. Um, and we'll have everything back up and running in one second. Again, I apologize for the technical difficulties that we've been experiencing intermittently all evening long. And Hey, I do apologize, everyone, for that. Um, uh, we are back and ready now, and now the next thing that I want to show you is a little flyover of Windermere Prep, and I believe that is this browser. Hold on one second. Oh, my goodness. No, that's not what I want to do. Um, it is loading in one second. I do apologize for the technical difficulties here. Um, what? Okay, control that via OBS. And come on. Stop being so annoying here. Okay, we're ready now. Sorry about that.
So that was a flyover of, um, of uh, Windermere Prep Campus, which is where the games are happening. Uh, and I'm glad we have a, f a few viewers here, a lot of viewers here, three viewers on Twitch. Thank you guys for tuning in. We're going to show you, the next thing we're going to show you is going to be the opening ceremony. This is a traditional ceremony at Global Games that always happens before all the games happen. Uh, they have a torch lighting, kind of like the Olympics, and they basically bring... Everybody runs around with the flag. It is so much fun. And we're going to show you live uh, video of that, well, recorded video of that from this morning. A little technical glitch here. Oh, wait, no, never mind. I figured it out. I'm so sorry.
Sorry about that, everybody. We're just getting this thing booted up again because it was going so slowly. We were never going to finish it. Um, Sorry about the technical difficulties again, just trying to make sure that it's going to uh, load properly and uh, work fast and be good to us. Um, because I know that it was having a bit of a low, uh, uh, like, just a bit a struggle with loading. So we're back though. Okay, so this video is going to take a little while, as you probably have seen. Um, we're going to continue to watch it, but uh, I think it's important to know that, like, I'm going to be, uh, like, I should, I'm going to tell this, I'm going to tell you guys some scores as well right now from Global Games, uh, and you can check the scores via the Team Snap Tournaments app. It's available to everyone for free, and just search up Global Games uh, in the events column. So we're going to first start out with some girls' gold basketball and British International School of Chicago South Loop, or BISC-SL. The Bulldogs won their first game 19-13, to and girls' basketball silver won their first game 16-12. to Both games were over Windermere Prep teams. In boys' flag football, uh, our gold team lost in a valiant effort to... San Roberto, 31 to 18, the final score of that one in the first game for them. In the boys' flag football silver division, we also played San Roberto, and um, it took a very, very, very valiant effort in a very tight game 
And in fact, it was too tight to decide a winner because they ended up tying 6-6 six to six at the end of the game. In girls volleyball gold, they had their, in their first game, they played Green Gates, which is a school, I believe it's in uh, just outside of Mexico City. Uh, it's a school that I've never seen before in global games, um, so probably new to the Nord Anglia organization, uh, at least since uh, 2019. And um, uh, Bisk SL beat them 2 nothing in girls volleyball, 2, two nothing in sets that is. In girls volleyball silver, we also played Green Gates and we beat them 2 nothing. And same with girls volleyball bronze, we played Green Gates and beat them 2 nothing as well. And, the, and then, well, that was for Team 3. And for Team 4, we had Team 4. Oh, there's two bronze teams, Team 3 and Team 4. It's team 1 and Team 2 are the gold and silver teams. And Team 4 did unfortunately lose to Green Gates 2 nothing, but a valiant effort there. In girls basketball, Gold's second game, the girls lost a very tight game, a one-point game to Costa Rica, 16-15, to the final score. In girls basketball, Silver, their second game was versus uh, Colegio Menor, uh, Quito, and Colegio Menor, San, Bo San Bordon, and MET School. I can't say that, I can't even see the full name of that, because that name is pretty long. Uh, but they had a combined, those schools had a combined team, and uh, they beat us 20 to 4 in girls basketball silver, but still a good effort from our uh, girls basketball silver team. And we had some co ed tennis doubles, and the Bulldogs won their first game versus Windermere Prep. It does not say the score of the game, it just says the winner. Uh, but the Bulldogs won their first game. Boys soccer gold, the Bulldogs played against Colegio Peruano Britanico. Uh, and Colegio Peruano Britanico won a very close match by only one goal, 4-3. to three, A very tight game, though. So some good games, uh, but we have more. I still have more to read out. Uh, girls volleyball... Um, gold is uh, hap is um, well, it's not happening right now, obviously, because it's 10:30 at night in Florida. But girls volleyball, uh, gold beat Windermere Prep two nothing in sets. Girls volleyball silver also played Windermere Prep, but unfortunately lost two close sets to Windermere Prep two nothing, and. Um, Our girls volleyball bronze team three played Windermere Prep as well, and they beat Windermere Prep two nothing. And girls volleyball bronze in the closest of margins. Uh, this uh, that's girls volleyball bronze uh, South L team four, and in the closest of margins, girls volleyball bronze uh, for us one against Windermere. 2-1. to one. Of course, the third set is a shorter set, and so, but they won that third set, and that's good. And so, boys soccer played uh, Eton School, and they beat them 2-1 to one in the gold division. They played North Broward Prep, uh, the team from Coconut Creek, Florida, so it's not the official home team, but they're certainly much closer than everybody else, except for Wingamere Prep. So maybe a little advantage there for them, but either way, they won the game. 22-5 uh, to five in boys basketball silver. And boys basketball bronze. Team 3 won against North Broward Prep. Uh, two, uh, excuse me, 12-8. to eight In boys basketball... Uh, wait, do I not have boys basketball goals? They were here. Yes, I am so sorry. I don't have boys basketball gold favorited. I was supposed to see that. Let's see here. No, I do have that favorited. I don't know why it's not showing up here. Um, so, but uh, where were we? Um, the boys 
basketball bronze team did beat uh, North Broward Prep 12 to 8. Boys flag football gold team uh, lost a game to Windermere Prep, uh, who has Windermere Prep has a very good flag football team, and they won that game 33 to 8. A tough loss for the Bulldogs. In boys flag football, uh, silver. Bisque South Loop won due to forfeit against Windermere Prep. The score was put down as 28 to a forfeited zero for Windermere Prep. And girls sand volleyball, the Bulldogs won their game. I cannot see the score for that game because it's not showing me that. But they did beat Aton School in girls sand volleyball. And there's only one division of girls sand volleyball, gold. Um, and there's in co-ed tennis doubles are um, doubles team unfortunately lost their game to uh, San Roberto uh, tough loss there and I think that might have been it for that team because that is a uh, that is only a bracket style competition there's no group stage per se so boys basketball gold played Houston in their first game and they beat Houston 30 to 19 the final score on that one so a good victory for the Bulldogs in girls soccer gold a tough tough loss uh, against Green Gates and they only gave up one goal there was only one goal given up by either team but Green Gates had that goal and they won one to nothing and Green Gates beat our girls soccer silver team as well for nothing but a valiant effort by the Bulldogs and girls soccer gold our team lost to uh, Colegio Menor Quito 5 nothing. a tough game for the Bulldogs and in boys volleyball gold division uh, there is only one division for boys volleyball actually uh, but the, our boys volleyball team beat uh, Houston 2 nothing and then lost to Windermere Prep also 2 nothing, But uh, some good efforts and a, a good victory for the Bulldogs for the boys volleyball team. And then they tied... See, I don't know what's going on with this score because it's. I guess it's not up to date, this boys volleyball gold game. There's another uh, boys... There's a second boys volleyball team. Uh, actually, I apologize. I should have stated that team three of boys volleyball beat... Um, Houston. Team 1 of Boys Volleyball lost to Winter Prep, and Team 2 of Boys Volleyball was also playing Winter Prep, and it said that they went to a third set. It does not show the score, so hopefully those the Bulldogs won. And Girls Flag Football, the Gold Division, uh, our girls team won 16 to nothing over Winter Prep. In Boys Basketball Gold Division, our team lost a tough game by only 7 points to Colegio Peruano Britannico, and that was a 32-25 to 25 final score. In boys basketball silver, our team beat Colegio Peruano Britannico um, via forfeit. The score was put in as two to, four, to a forfeited zero, and the same thing happened for boys basketball bronze. Two to a forfeited zero to the Bulldogs. So the Bulldogs take advantage of have taken advantage of three forfeits across the board today so far, uh, with a few scores still left to read out and um, so some they are still wins though. They are definitely still wins. Um, San Roberto um, and well, actually I should I forgot. There's one score that I haven't read out yet. Uh, from the girls soccer silver which our team lost a tough game to Panama to Met School Panama uh, 2 nothing the final score in that one in girls flag football gold we played a really tight match with San Roberto and in fact nobody scored that game uh, finished tied at zero tied at nil nil if you will in boys volleyball um, Colegio, in, in the gold division, our team number three lost to Colegio Peruano Britannico 2 0. Uh, our team one beat Houston 2 0. 
And our team two beat Costa Rica also two to nothing. So that is all the results from today. We've got some. Tomorrow is the playoffs. And so we're going to go through uh, the schedule for tomorrow. And you can, of course, keep track of all the games on uh, Team Snap Tournaments. Just go to Team Snap Tournaments, download uh, on, well, go to Team Snap Tournaments app. Uh, download it if you don't have it, because I definitely recommend you should have it to keep track of all the Global Games scores. Um, and then you can search up uh, Global Games. It'll come up. And then you search, and then you just uh, favorite all the Bulldogs teams. So, in boys sand volleyball, in the first game of bracket play, we will play Windermere Prep uh, tomorrow, 8:45 a.m. local time, so 7:45 a.m. Chicago time. And in game two, uh, in the second, in the girls basketball silver, uh, we will have um, a game versus San Roberto. 8.45 local time. Boys Flag Football Silver will have a game at 8.45 local time versus Windermere Prep. Uh, so that should be a fun game. Boys Soccer will get to play at 8.45 versus North Broward Prep in their bracket game. Um, girls Basketball will play a game. Uh, girls Basketball Gold, that is, will play a game um, Versus San Roberto at 9:15, and girls volleyball bronze will play a game. That's uh, team four, by the way. Will play a game versus North Broward Prep at also at 9:15. Uh, Coed tennis, we will. I guess we're still in it, so I was wrong. I apologize for that. Um, we have team one, which will play uh, against Green Gates at 9:45. Boys flag football gold will play. Um, against San Roberto uh, at 9.45 a.m. Girls, uh, girls Volleyball Silver will play against Quito, Colegio Menor Quito, at 9.45 a.m. Girls Sand Volleyball will play against uh, Houston at 10.45 a.m. Boys Basketball Gold will play against Aton School at 11.15 a.m. Girls Volleyball Bronze gets to play, uh, they have a bye game in their bracket. They will play, we don't know who they're going to play yet, but they will play at 11.15 a.m. Um, Girls Volleyball uh, Gold also has a bye game. Also has a bye game. Uh, they will play at 11.45 a.m. And girls soccer silver will play at 12:50 p.m. and that will be versus Windermere Prep. Boys basketball silver will play Windermere Prep as well at 1:20 p.m. Girls soccer gold will play uh, British College Brazil at 1:20 p.m. Girls flag football gold will play uh, Bis Houston at. 1:55 p.m. Boys basketball bronze will get to play. Uh, we'll get to have a bye game against. Uh, well, they'll play at 2:30 p.m. And that is team number three. And boys volleyball gold will get to play CM uh, Colegio Manor Sambor Rondon uh, at 2:30. And then boys volleyball gold will also get to play Houston. Uh, the first team in boys volleyball gold will get to play Houston. At 2:30, the second team will get to play uh, Colegio Menor San Borondon at 2:30, and the third team will get to play Windermere Prep also at 2:30. After that, the games are going to be uh, finished up for that day, and we'll have the championships the next day. And of course, um, there will be more games added to the schedule as teams win, because they because if you win, you get another game. And potentially you could have to play two or three games in a day, in this day, but we don't know yet. Um, so keep an eye on the Team Snap. Basically, that's the only way you'll, you can get updated until tomorrow night. And I will see you at 6 p.m. tomorrow night, I think. Um, but we are still watching this video here. 
uh, of the um, what's it called of the opening ceremony, and so I will let you continue to watch that uh, as I finish.